Okay, what what people need to know, and I think they've probably heard it a lot, is that shark attacks are rare. Uh, but I want to give some background about why they're rare and explain what it is that's really going on. Sharks have different sensory systems that they use to detect prey. And we humans rely on vision and hearing uh, to find our way through the air. Sharks rely far more on their sense of hearing than we realize. Um, they're capable of hearing very, very low frequency sounds. They have a sound detection system that's called the lateral line, and it's a series of pressure sensors along the, the sides of their bodies. And they can hear very low frequency sounds like the sounds made by humans swimming or even walking in the water. We can't hear those sounds, but they can. Low frequency sound is transmitted very well in seawater. This is how submarines use sonar, for example. And the sharks can actually hear you swimming or walking in the water as far as a kilometer away. And so they are aware that we are in the water. And the fact is, if you go to the beach, there will be a hundred or more people in the water for each kilometer of beach. And there's probably 10 sharks in the water and they can hear each of us. And the fact is they don't bother us by and large. Um, about half of all shark attacks in, in beach areas are actually mistaken identities. Uh, sharks are you know, not intellectual giants and they tend to explore possible new food sources. And that leads to about half of all the shark attacks that we know about. They'll take a bite of something they think is interesting and realize, oh no, that's not food. That's not normal. And they, they leave. Um, and so you'll get one bite and that's bad enough. They have very sharp teeth. Then they leave you alone. Um, there are, however, situations where shark attacks are much more serious. There are a few species of sharks that are very aggressive. Once they take a bite and they think, okay, I'm going to eat this, they keep coming at you. Um, we had eight shark attacks in North Carolina waters back in 2015 in a stretch of about eight weeks, or excuse me, three weeks. And about half of those were single bites, mistaken identity. The others were much more deliberate attacks. And we suspect that the culprits might have been bull sharks. Bull sharks are cousins of great whites. They don't get as big. They're very aggressive animals. So uh, shark attacks, again, are very rare. Um, the, the one species that we probably need to be most aware of in our water, if, if that's possible, is the bull shark. They're common in North Carolina coastal waters, but most of them, most of the sharks in general will not bother humans. They hear us, they know what we are, they won't attack us. And the fact is they're well aware that we're in the water and they leave us alone. Right, um, you need to be much more concerned about rip currents and you wanna pay attention to the instructions about that. When the lifeguards whistle you to come in, when they're flying a red flag to warn about rip currents, that's really important. We have more people die from rip current accidents where they get caught and carried out beyond their depth of comfort than we ever will have from shark attacks. I understand there were dozens of rip current rescues just this past weekend. That's far more dangerous to people. You gotta pay attention to the conditions on the beach. And if you don't know what a rip current is, ask a lifeguard. We quite often have uh, posted warnings that explain what a rip current is. That to me is a much, much greater concern than shark attacks. Well, not really. We get a few every summer. Um, it's surprising that most shark attacks are in fairly shallow water. Uh, it's rare that you get a shark attack when someone's whole body is in the water because they can hear that you are big when you're all in the water. When you're only standing waist deep, they only hear the part of you that's in the water and they don't realize how big you are. Um, so 
Uh, I'm not surprised these things do happen. If you do the math on the number of encounters, there are you know, probably thousands of sharks along the North Carolina beach and tens of thousands of people swimming. And you multiply that times the amount of time that the sharks are aware of people. Uh, if they really wanted to attack us, there'd be a lot more attacks. And the fact is there are very, very few. So when I go to the beach, I don't worry about sharks. I'm more concerned about how rough it is and whether or not there are rip currents. That's what you really want to pay attention to.